Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we're going to take a look at scroll activated or scroll based CSS3 animations. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. Alright, so that example there isn't what we're going to be covering. We're going to be covering something else that's a little bit different. Uh, this is going to span over two days. And so today we're just going to get focused on actually de designing the actual items that we're going to be animating and then getting our HTML, CSS, and jQuery all set up. Alright, so if you need access to the project files, which you're going to if you want to follow along, uh, they're available for free in the description below here in YouTube. And I will take you to a link on designcourse.com where you can download the files. You just have to register. It's free. And then, of course, as always, subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so make sure you download the project file. So if you are at designcourse.com for this specific video or you're on YouTube, click on the link to go to designcourse.com and then click download project files. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and join. It's free and then you can access the project files. Once you have that downloaded and the file is extracted, go to file open and open up the actual, let me go over here. Yeah, project, sorry. The grid.psd. All right, so basically, if you've never messed around with responsive design using a grid system, uh, well, basically, right here we have 12 grids, and it's basically a way to help you manage and organize your layout mock up here in Photoshop and be able to an easily translate it once we start doing the HTML and CSS. So, again, the purpose here is to uh, basically create a fake kind of design and so it's for the purposes of uh, doing a cool sort of CSS3 animation activated when you scroll down on a site. So this is something that we're seeing that's a little bit more increasingly popular, I would say, that front-end developers are doing, and it looks pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to hide the grid and hide that as well. Hit Control-H. And up here... I'm not going to do much because obviously if this if we're talking about scroll base activated man those people are loud out there scroll base activated uh, animation well you have to have something like above the fold as it's called so I'm just going to put a temporary uh, basically a rectangle so I'm going to take the rectangle tool out here and then just drag down right around there the height is 766 it doesn't matter you don't have to be exact and then Inside, I'm just going to put here uh, with the type tool, scrolling CSS animations with jQuery. All right, can't see it because it's the same color. So I'm going to take these both and drag them down. And let me make this white. Control T, hold Shift and Alt and scale that sucker up and just try to get it in the middle here. All right, so. Basically, I'm using Source Sans Pro for this. It's a free font. You can find it on Google. And I'm using the lightweight. All right. Okay, so now what we want to do is focus on an area down here where we're going to basically animate two images into place. Okay? And so one will be a cell phone. The other one will be a monitor. And you know what? We're going to make three, actually, instead. And one's going to be like a tablet. Uh, and there's, these are going to be like vector slash, you know, abstract. They're not going to be actual, uh, you know, photorealistic things. So what we're going to do is just take out, left-click, drag, select the rounded rectangle tool, and we'll choose a radius of about 15 for this. And the first one will be a phone over here. So I'm holding Alt and just left-clicking, dragging out. Maybe pretty big, so right around there. And the width and height is right here if you want to be exact for whatever reason. And I'm going to get the ellipse tool and hit Control H twice. And I'm going to put a circle right there. Make it white. All right. And hit Control H twice. And I think maybe also inside, we will take this rounded rectangle one. I'm going to 
to duplicate that right click and just hit duplicate layer or I've set up a hotkey or a shortcut control shift and D and hit control T we're going to scale that in by holding shift and alt just right around there for now hit apply take the direct selection tool and we're gonna take the stroke and make it white and then take the stroke width and increase that I'd say right around there so with the direct selection tool still selected select these bottom points and hold shift and just scale it up right there or drag it up rather and then if you need to make any other adjustments you know you can do so by uh, let me hit control H once and moving those up with your arrow keys all right I guess that looks pretty decent for now I uh, I think I may want to change the actual color of this though so let me Maybe right around there I'm gonna copy that color code right there hit OK and does it make sense to make this slightly different maybe yeah we'll make this slightly slightly lighter is it okay all right so we'll take those three layers hit control G and we'll call this one phone all right take our move tool we'll move it around here and you know I may hit control T and scale that down just a bit because we're gonna have a couple other things which are bigger and then what we're going to do is we can duplicate that group, Control shift d and we'll go ahead and move this beneath that phone group right there. And let's open that up. Let's get rid of the ellipse. All right, so now what we're going to do is take this, hit Control h You know, I don't want to view the guide, so get out of there. All right, so now... We're going to create the actual monitor. It's going to sit up higher over here. We're going to drag this up. Maybe right around there. Take the sides. Drag them over here. And we just want like a basic monitor shape basically. I think that's pretty decent right there. Then what we'll do is take the one inside and match that up as best we can with the direct selection tool. I'm just holding shift when I move these things around as well. All right, so now let's take both of those. Maybe we can make them bigger. Holding Shift and Alt right around there. All right, and then we will, yeah, we'll just take this. We'll rename that group to Monitor. Actually, I forgot something, though. We should put this kind of like a stand maybe or something right around here make that color this all right cool and let me hide the phone I want to make sure this is kind of lined up evenly it looks like it is I'm just eyeballing it no big deal all right so now we'll take monitor and we will duplicate that and this one's going to be named tablet and let's get that up there get rid of rectangle two and oops all right we have these things now let's hit control t and shift and scale that that way control t shift and alt drag this in and hit apply now that phone's like this like way too big in relation to this so this the phone needs scaled down big time so no big deal scale that sucker down and then also this tablet is too it's too tall looking basically so we'll take the direct selection tool on this layer maybe right around there hold shift and drag that in use your arrow keys if you need to align it better All right, so now we'll take this tablet and maybe position it right around here. All right, so the idea is once we scroll down here, these things are going to be kind of off here to the side and as well as the phone will be off over here. And as we scroll down, they will animate into this position. Okay, so 
Now what we want to do is basically save these images. So what we'll do is we'll take our phone first and I'm just going to hit control E, control A to select all and then control C to copy and then control N to go ahead and create a new document. Make sure background contents are transparent and then control V to paste that in and then go to file save for web and from now on, I'm going to use the shortcut, which is Alt Shift Control S or Command S, and save this as a transparent PNG 24 bit right here. All right, so it's only 2.3 KB, so it's pretty light. Um, and then we'll save this, and I'm going to go to a different, I'm going to pause real quick and go to a different folder. And inside my project folder, I'm going to create some files or folders rather. One's going to be HTML. We're going to go inside of it, create a new folder, images enter into that and we'll call this phone alright and we can back up a couple times just so we can maintain those so it control alt and Z about three times so now you can see it's not flattened anymore we'll take our tablet control E or command E control A and then control C to copy control N hit enter control V to paste I know I'm going really fast and save that again and we'll call this tablet and I'm going actually really fast. I've, I've done so much recording. I've done like two hours of recording today uh, for a different network that I do tutorials for. And so then we'll take monitor here. We'll back up a few times first. Control E, Control A, Control C, Control N, Enter, Control V, Alt Shift, Alt S. <laughs> you guys are probably killing me. It's, it's the same process as before, so don't get too mad. Monitor. All right. All right, and now it is saved. Oh man, I am, I am just wore out today. All right, so I, uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess it's worth we can we can continue on a little bit because this is going to be a two part, but it's only about eleven minutes into the video so far. So, I uh, let's see here. I'm going to get out my editor, and it's off screen. I'm just going to go. I uh, file open folder and I'm gonna I'm doing this off screen I have three monitors so you're not seeing any of this right now basically I'm going to open up the folder I'm using something called uh, sublime text 2 and that's an HTML editor you can use notepad if you don't have anything you know it's no big deal uh, what we need to do is basically get out I uh, I'm gonna open up the folder here that I'm trying to find I'll just pause this all right, so now I have this area open. So, you know, if you don't have Sublime Text 2, don't worry. Like I said, just uh, open up Notepad or if you're using Dreamweaver, you know, no big deal. Just create a new file and I'm going to hit Control S to save this. And, oh man, I'm completely in the wrong area. Um, project, I think that's it. HTML, yes. All right, so I'm going to name this index.html. All right, and so now what we have to do is start writing out our HTML just to get everything set up. So I'm going to put in doc type HTML, and then I'm going to put the first HTML tag, language equals English, and then head, that's our opening head, and then close that up right there. And then we have a bunch of stuff, and I'm going to paste this in off screen just a, basically a couple lines at a time. So if you want to basically go ahead and just save or take a look at this and uh, I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna offer this as a project file so you don't have to really type this all out by hand. Uh, and then I'm gonna put the title tag here and we'll just call this scrolling based CSS animations, you know, whatever. And then close that title tag and then we have another essential meta tag right here. Viewport, this is all for making things responsive. Uh, and then I also have this here, which is a link to our, I don't think we need the, the that weight right there for our font, Source Sans Pro. And I, you don't necessarily have to use it, I always do though, for most of my tutorials. And then we're gonna put in couple lines here and so basically this is a, an include for something that doesn't exist yet and will in a second is the jQuery right here and then a custom script JS file right there 
And then finally, two more lines. I'm gonna copy and paste in. And that is going to be 1140.css. And then also our custom styles.css. All right, so real quickly, I'm gonna get this opening body tag down here. This is where all of our HTML will go. Why does it do that? All right, and then close the HTML tag down there. All right, so now we have to do is download jQuery. Um, make sure you save everything. So I'm gonna get out this, um, yeah, jQuery.com slash download. You can download this right here. You just right click and save link as, and I gotta go back and what the heck, recent places, HTML, create a new folder, call that JS, and then just call this jQuery js all right and then we have to go to 1140px.com and this is our basically a, a minimal responsive framework and then download that and open that up and let me get that get out of there they want me to buy this thing it's just an evaluation copy i never buy it but i uh, in there we just have a css folder um we can hit extract and basically you want to go to your folder i'm doing this off screen because i have so many different folders and projects from clients and stuff let me go to designcourse.com blah 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 let me find this all right so project html and you want to save that in html right there hit okay all right, so now if we go back to our editor, oops, wrong one, sorry. All right, so this is what we have. We have our uh, JS file, J jQuery there. We have 1140px.css. We have to create two new files though. So new file, save this in JS. This will be called script.js. And then also we'll have a new file save this in the CSS folder and name this style.css. Bam, we are ready to roll. All right, so that's a good place to end it. So tomorrow we'll go ahead and start writing out the HTML and CSS and getting it linked up here and uh, basically getting everything working. So this, you know, I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. This may be a one or a two part or maybe a three part video tutorial so we'll see all right so as always check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on youtube and if you do go to your subscription settings on youtube and there's like a little you know what maybe i should just show you because not a lot of people know, i didn't even know this until recently myself uh if you go to like my subscriptions and this person i'm subscribed to uh and you click right here get an email for each upload from, you know, just find designcourse.com and click that. That way you'll get notified. You don't, you don't forget because I'm doing these daily video tutorials. All right, I'll shut up and see you tomorrow.